I'm going to take apart this electric mixer and it claims it has a powerful 200 watt motor. It's easy to use and clean and is great for smoothies apparently. It has this connector for connecting the blade to it. But the reason why my mom gave this to me to take this apart is because the blade unit has all seized up. It also has a button on it. Now I'm going to measure the power that the motor draws when it's running. Note that this is going to be a test with no load on the motor. And it's drawing around 28 watts. And if I start it, keep trying to start it, it's drawing around. 29 watts at most. I think the 200 watt claim is when the motor is under a very heavy load. I can't even get this thing apart without drilling out these screw plugs. There's a seam here. I'm not going to brute force along the seam. I think I'm just going to drill these screw plugs out with dad. Now I'm going to take this thing apart now that Dad has drawled out the covers on those screws. I'm expecting there to be a universal motor in this. Well, anyway, see what type of motor this thing uses once I get this thing open. I think the reason why they put plastic plugs on the screws is so that the user cannot oil the motor if the motor would even need oiling. Whoa! I see a bridge rectifier for some reason. Oops, I meant a diode. What? what? This is unplugged. There really, there's four big diodes and two and some homemade switch thing. And this motor has magnets in it. And I think this is a bridge rectifier for this motor. And these wires are super thin. Wow. This wasn't what I was expecting inside this mixer thing. I was just expecting an AC motor and no bridge rectifier circuit, just a switch for switching on the motor. And this is what the motor looks like. It has a label on it. This is a close-up of the label. And also, the motor has these carbon brushes. And also, a cooling fan. This is the back of the motor, and this is the front of the motor.